So uh, I was I started in in the game when I was 12 when I was in first year at school. I uh, started working on a Friday evening uh, and a Saturday during the day, just doing your normal junior jobs. Then I went all the way through school, still working uh, at the barber shop. And then I, uh, when I was 21, I thought that's it, go uh, go all out, and uh, went to Oldham College. We did a uh, barbecue MV, sorry barbecue MVQ, <laughs> MVQ level two, level three. Um, I did my assessor awards. We, I kind of like rushed right through the courses. I've been being taught in the barber shop by the guys I used to work for, and um, yeah, we I just went ahead of wheels with it and did all my teaching qualifications. Um, stayed at my previous employment for eight years, and since then, me and Reese have opened Ruger, and education still goes on. I don't really do much college work anymore, but just freelance uh, and seminar work. Well, <clears throat> I was going on my honeymoon. Um, I was taking like a few weeks off. We got the keys to this place, um, and me and Reese just went crazy. We filled three skips up. This, what you see was uh, four rooms. So instead of meticulously taking it apart, we did the fun thing and you know kicked walls through, and ran through things, tomahawking hammers, you know, like you do. <clears throat> you know, made it a little bit bit fun. So for four weeks, we were stepping on nails cutting our hands, we're not builders, we've got hands for barbers for cutting hair, so we were a mess, literally cut everywhere, but we had like loads and loads of fun doing it. Um, we travelled around, went to reclamation yards, we did research on the mirrors, you know, um, our old wood from, from Wembley Stadium, our uh, vintage like barbers, uh, waiting seats from an old theatre in Kent, our acid washed um, concrete floor, everything was all you know, it was finding out, research, speaking to people. We have you know, some really, really good friends who helped us out with the building work, the electrics. <clears throat> and yeah, it was just research, you know. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a few. One, uh, like a, a good friend of ours who me and Reese have kind of idolised for a while, he's Kevin Lutchman. Um, he's so down to earth. His work is incredible and he's a bit of a legend, really. Uh, like overseas, you've got Famos who works in Notorious in Montreal. Um, there are loads of people. We, you know, we we have the New World Barbers, and we constantly are like sharing pictures from around the world. A lot of the American, the Puerto Rican guys, you know, some from Ladies Hairdressing. And as a collective, we we compare our work, and you know, we all get showcased as well, like a big group, and that's always a good motivation. You see someone else do a really good cut, and you think, right, I'm gonna have to do that as well. Reese is also a master. He's a big inspiration of mine. His work's brilliant. You know, he's just come on loads like over the past couple of years. So, and he's always doing better than me. Look, shit. <laughs> cool. Well, our main focus is the shop. We we spent so much time and effort on the barber shop that we do want to go on new shows. We do want to do magazine work, and we do want to do collaborations with lots of other people. We want to make sure this place goes crazy. We want to make sure we. The, our main focus is happy people. You know, we just don't want to. We don't want to think like quantity. We want you know 400 people in today, 300 people in the next day. We just want you know to focus on that the main few and get it done right. We just want people to be happy. Well, it's the location. It's the area in which it is. You know, whenever we do something big, we go down south. We're on the train for two and a half hours going down to London, which we are doing three, four times from now until March. The fact that it's just 30 minutes away for us, it's massive for the industry because you're bringing it up north. You know, there's a lot of good, good barbers in, the, in this area which deserve to be a part of it, you know, in, in the industry where we don't have to travel miles. So it's nice for it to be up here and, you know, we can, we can all get together on our doorstep, basically. <laughs> 